we have something pretty exciting to share with you guys today. We just got in the Annie Slow Mini Project Pack and we'll be taking a closer look at what's inside and share some ways that you can use these paints and waxes for your next projects. Hi and welcome back everyone. We are so excited to be collaborating with Annie Sloan for this video because she is the creator of chalk paint and what could be better than that? So when this mini project pack came in, we just opened it up right away. We could not wait to see what was inside. But first I'll do a flip through of the colorist. And it's just packed full with amazing ideas and inspirational sayings and stories from other people, color swatches, and just everything you could possibly imagine that has to do with chalk painting. It's about 130 pages. And there's also a stencil that you can use, which we're totally going to put to use in future videos. And this is the page that I'm going to find extremely helpful. It's got a color chart on how you can use Annie Sloan colors. And I think this is going to be something that I would like to have on hand for when I'm painting. So I'm actually going to cut out this page out of this book and put it into a frame and hang it on our wall here. This is going to be really helpful just to have it on display where we can look at it. And then of course, Annie's personal story. And Annie, we just want to tell you from everyone here that you're such an inspiration to so many people out there. So thank you. Okay, let's get inside this box here. So included is a chalk paint brush and this brush can be used to apply the wax too, not just the paint. And you can see they're very pliable, they're easy to use and they hold a lot of paint. So if you are going to be getting into chalk paint, then you really should have a proper chalk painting brush. And then we have two wax colors, clear and dark. And I'll show you a couple of ways to use these coming up. And two chalk paint colors in Paris Grey and Duck Egg Blue. And let's open them right up and take a closer look. First I want to do a test to show you how the paint is on white and black surfaces just to see the coverage if it makes a difference if you're starting out with something with a lighter or darker color. I know some of you might worry if you should be priming your project pieces first so this test might help you out a bit. I'll put on two coats of each and see how that looks. And you guys, there's barely any difference here. So I would say that you can just go ahead and start painting over top of any color. And that's just one of the many reasons why chalk paint is so popular. And now I'm gonna show you the waxes and a couple different ways to use them. And I'm just gonna use some wood from an old frame that we had on hand here. I'll go ahead and give each piece two coats of paint and then let it dry. And by the way, as soon as the paint is completely dry, you can go ahead and wax. There's no need to wait and just make sure that you shake the cans gently and stir them up really well before using. Now that these pieces are dry, I'll show you the wax. So you can either use the clear wax alone as a protective coating, at least two coats, letting it dry for 24 hours between coats. And the dark wax can be used in different ways and you'll get a totally different look depending on how you apply it. So I'll apply it here directly onto the paint and you can see that the dark color kind of soaks right into the finish. And by applying more coats, you can make it even darker if you wish. And now the other way is to first go over the paint with clear wax, use quite a bit here, and that's going to provide a barrier for the dark wax.
and you can see that it does make quite a bit of difference when I wipe it off. It's a totally different effect, so that is something to keep in mind when you're working on a larger piece. And then of course you can wipe off as much as you want or get it right into the cracks more, whatever you like. And I'm in love with this color, by the way. On this one here, I'll show you the clear wax by itself, then the dark, and then both of them together. And by the way, I'm just using a cotton shirt that I cut up here to apply the wax. And that is a huge difference there. And if you go ahead and really wipe off that dark wax, you can see that these techniques have a totally different final look. So there's a lot you can do with this project pack. And if you're looking for a gift idea for someone in your life who loves chalk paint, then this is definitely something that they'll love. And if you go over to the Annie Sloan YouTube channel, they have a ton of helpful videos over there. And we'll put that link below for you. And please keep watch because we have even more tutorials coming up using this project pack. So if you would like to be notified, please subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell. Till next time, have a wonderful day everyone.